Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am coming at y'all with an unboxing. You guys can see where it's from, The Budget Mom. I ordered something new. You guys love my plan with me's and my budget with me's in my Live Rich Planner. So let's dig into this to see what I'm bringing new on the channel. All right, I'm gonna make sure I don't flip this thing over because of course my address is on the other side. So I pre-ordered this September 15th and today is October 15th. Pre-orders were actually supposed to start shipping out today, but I've kind of figured out that with her pre-order, she's pretty much locked and loaded. So um, last time when I ordered the Liverage Planner, I ordered it on like the 15th and it came the exact, the, the next day that it was supposed to, sh it was supposed to ship just the day before I got it. So, and this comes all the way from Washington. So, oh my God, I think you guys are gonna love all these goodies. And you guys can, can you see it? I'm gonna take all of it out because it's kind of big. But I just wanted to, you guys to see the general note here from Kamiko. So it just says, thank you for so supporting the budget mom. I appreciate you. And let's get, let's get this stuff out. I love the color of her box. I feel like I hear my phone ringing. And y'all know I phone on the phone. I'm gonna throw this box to the side. Sorry, you hear my computer chair creaking. Ooh. All right, let's put this pretty piece of paper off to the side and I knew I saw something. Let me get this off camera. Make sure I don't show you guys my goods, which I don't think I have. Okay, so what I ordered in this bundle, few different things. So let's actually start with this, the first item here. Now I have, I'm very particular about the pens that I use and everything, but I love pineapples. By the way, just as a fruit and I love that they're yellow. So this, is the budget mom pen and pouch so let's open this it has a nice little lilac like purple um zipper the budget mom logo there on top and then full pineapple on the back i love that it has these um rings so you can just kind of pop it into a binder if you wanted and then inside what do we have <laughs> Pens, a whole bunch of budget mom pens. She uses these pens for all her budgeting. Um, I think I got 12, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, I got 10. Okay, so I got 10 of these pens, but she swears up and down by them. So, I mean, if I don't love them, it's okay. I can always use more pens, work pens, a pen in my purse, a pen upstairs, a pen in my bedroom. But we'll do a pen test, hopefully if I can remember at the end of this. But Kamiko loves to use a particular type of pen in her budget planner. So that's why I purchased that. All right, let's go to the next thing here, which these came free in here. And these are the Botanical Cash Envelope Set. This was part of the bundle. I should have said that in the beginning. I purchased, oh, it's open right here. I purchased the Budget Mom or the Budget by Paycheck Um bundle so it's going to come with you see these different cash envelopes which i love i like the thickness on these i always see her use these so it's kind of really cool to see them in my hand for the first time but the um i like i like the paper quality on those so as you guys can see there's a window on the front and the back flap so that you can put your category in there um this one's a little bent up Probably just from packaging. Not a big deal though, these were free. Um, I do have my own cash envelopes and they're actually over to the side there, but um, very cute. So this is the botanical cash envelope set. And then in here, this is really good for like a, a cashless envelope system. So let me kind of just stop shaking it. So at the top, you can see there's a space for category, there's a space for amount, and then you have a space for date, description, plus or minus money, and then your balance. And they're front and back. So if it's something that like maybe you use often, like you do like, like say, if you wanna put daily spending on here, like my daily spending would probably take at least one of these. 
like for a month it would take probably the full sheet of these and you know what i like about them they remind me of library cards you know how when you would go and check out a library book and you have to like put your initials or something in there anyways you get i think one of these for each one of these so you can track everything the way you're supposed to okay so there those are the cash envelopes or like i said you can use it as a cashless envelope setting or system okay so i got um it's like a postcard with a discount code on it and then another bookmark which i got with my leverage planner same exact setup basically all right so now you guys can see kind of the big reveal in that i purchased a budget by paycheck workbook the actual spiral bound workbook um this year she had three different versions she had this actual workbook she had a digital version and then she had the box set which was the different months um obviously january through december cut up into smaller booklets although i liked the portability of that i wanted to first see how i like this i could always order the box set later down the line and i will tell you guys why in a second also with the budget by paycheck workbook i bought or i got a cash envelope um filofax wallet so this is her as you guys can see this is my first filofax actually anything this is her cash envelope wallet that she collabed with filofax on so this is a compact zip organizer um i think that she's re-releasing these again but they did sell out um with the first launch um, you might want to check her website or check her Instagram stories or her Instagram. She's very active on there to check out and see when these are restocked, if they have been already. But um, I'm going to walk through this first and then we'll get into the actual nitty gritty of the budget by paycheck workbook, which I know is what you guys really want to see. But um, so first things first, I think this is a like botan. Everything is kind of like the same um, theme. This is this kind of reminds me of those cash envelopes. And it gives me like that botanical theme feeling. So in the very front here, we have that pocket, right? And then we see the budget mom emblem right there. Let's, so let's open it up. Oh, wow. It reminds me of mint chocolate chip ice cream. <laughs> um, I like that. I like that. So as you can see on here, it says the Safiano compact organizer. And then of course it says Filofax, the budget mom. Then we have another pocket here. You have a zip pocket here for coins, I'd imagine. And then you have some slots back here for cards. And then there is, some, oh, there's a pen loop, okay. And then there's another compartment back here that you can fit probably bills in, if you wanted to fit bills in there. Okay. <laughs> I hear Dami screaming upstairs. All right, and this is just the protective, like, material around the ring so that they don't get scratched beautiful silver rings it says filofax on the middle of that there and then oh this is cool this is a very flexible pocket you can put more things in there maybe like receipts or coupons and then there's some more card holders and then another pocket back there so it just needs a little bit of breaking in but that is the um wallet so the idea is punch some holes in this and pop them right in here and keep your envelopes in there. So that's how that will look. And actually, since that's the purpose of these, I'm actually going to just tuck these in here like that so I keep everything together. Just like that. I'm gonna set that back up. So I'm satisfied. I think it's very, it's a very nice quality. Um, oh, you have a little F on the spine too here for Filofax. I don't know if you guys can see that it's kind of yeah right there it's like um how do you call that punched oh my god what is that called i used to get it all the time on my foxy fixes stamped hot stamped all right so i'm gonna put that up there because now we can look at the big kahuna the big kahuna being the budget by paycheck full-size workbook and like i said three different versions digital this one and then the box set um if i can find anyone who has done an unboxing on the box set i will link them down below i know my friend steph 
Steph's budget. I always think it's like Steph's buy budget. Or Steph budget um, got the box set. So um, I can link her Instagram so you guys check her out. She'll be using them. Um, so let's go ahead and get this open. All right. Oh, shoot. The coil is very big, just like the coil on the Live Ridge Planner. This is just giving me Live Ridge Planner vibes, to be quite honest with you guys. Let me get rid of this garbage. Oh, look at how, look how beautiful that is. All right, so let's get into the design. It's very simple. She wanted it to be gender neutral um, so that anybody could comfortably use it, whether they're using it at home, out and about at a coffee shop or in the workplace. So I like that. Same material as the cover for the Liverage Planner. Very, very thick. Um, but I like that. I like I like just the overall aesthetic of that. All right, so then this is just looks like something to keep the shape of the, the workbook together. So let's go ahead and get it open. Oh, that paper. I really love their paper. I've always loved their paper. All right, so let's get into this book. So first things first, we have a little word from Kamiko herself, which is always so cute. And that's the same things in the Liberage Planner. And then we have a space to put who it belongs to and an if found kindly contact space. Now let's get into this. This, these two pages, actually not two pages, these first four pages are going to explain to you how to use this book. How to use this workbook, how to be successful, what what each worksheet means. All right, so there's a breakdown of the yearly worksheets, and that is pertaining to the financial plan goal worksheet, sinking funds, saving visual, membership and subscription reminders, yearly spending overview, yearly saving goals and events, yearly balance overview, yearly savings tracker, a bill tracker, medical bill payment tracker. Then for your monthly worksheets, there's an area to um, explain the budget calendar, the paycheck bill tracker, the cash envelope breakdown, if you so please to use that, and an expense tracker. We also have something or space for a debt repayment plan, monthly net worth, net, net worth tracker. And then there are where did my money go worksheets. So this is going to kind of get dig deeper into where exactly you're putting out, like where you're assigning that money, right? Um, we have a monthly budget category breakdown, a monthly spending comparison, monthly debt and savings breakdown, and the cash envelope teller slips. So that is cool because I kind of made those myself um, when I first started my journey in January. Um, I just started to print something really basic, but she does offer those in her shop. That's where I got the idea. All right. So now that we've kind of gone through that, let's look at the next coming. Oh my God, this is this looks so beautiful, you guys. All right. So these are not even getting into the actual nitty gritties of the months yet. This is a financial plan goal worksheet. So you can do short term goals. And she kind of tells you those are within the, within one year. Then you have medium term goals, which are within five years, long term goals within 10 to 15. Um, membership and subscription reminder worksheet, yearly goals and events. That's nice. Um, yearly savings tracker. So that's really cool to kind of see exactly like see what months you're taking more money out of your savings. See what months you're putting more money into your savings. Just seeing that overall activity. And then the sinking funds savings visuals. These are really, really something that I find very unique with Kamiko. Not that I've never seen them before, but she just has lots of different ones that are very interactive. I think it really works for the people who follow her. Um, and I probably should start using some. So ideally, you could probably use one of these for each, you know, like this is four different sinking funds and another four sinking funds. Um, and she has these on her blog. If you sign up for her blog, you can get some of these sinking fund trackers for free as well. If you're interested in kind of trying out these visuals to see how they play out. So in my mind, I'd put the subject matter down here, like Christmas, Dom, 
car home. And then in here, I'd put the amount that I want to save. And then depending on how many like leaves or petals, well, these are leaves, are on here, you'd break down each of these different milestones to get to that step, if that makes sense. Um, she has a lot of information about sinking funds on her website. So I do highly encourage you to Google just sinking funds if you're not familiar with them or go on the budgetmom.com and she has tons of information about it. All right. So then we have something, um, a yearly spending overview, which I like. Ooh, we income. Okay. So you can break down your income totals and then your expense categories. So, wow. Again, a really good way to kind of visually see everything at once a culmination of things to see where you're spending the most money or where you're saving the most money and kind of just track trends because I think that the basis of budgeting and the idea of grasping a budget is understanding your expenses your income and how those relate to one another all right and you have a spot up here to put the year then we have a yearly balance overview so we have a savings balance, debt balance, retirement balance, and then your net worth. So the this is a chart, this is a pretty interactive. I'd probably have to spend some time to really get a, a good understanding of this, but wow, this is interesting. And so it has the months down here on this axis and then the balance on that one. And then again, a space for the year. This is, this is really, really thought out. <laughs> All right, and then we have bill trackers um, for the entire, for an entire year's worth. So the columns here are due date, expense bill description, amount due, payment method, is it auto? So um, then also you have medical bill payment tracker. Um, and in here you have company, account number, payment plan, beginning balance. So in the columns you have payment date, method of payment, check number or confirmation number that's bomb i love that because i often get confirmation numbers i'm not gonna lie i scribble them anywhere and then i have no idea where they go after that <laughs> payment amount and then your new balance then you have some note pages here which is great kind of jot some things down maybe you want to jot some usernames and passwords in here for your financial planning tools now we're going to get into the month. So what I'm going to do and what I typically always do is I'm going to show one month and then I'll show you guys the cover pages of each month thereafter because they're all going to basically have the same layout. And then we'll go to the very, very back and I will show you what's happening back there too. All right. So uh, the January says people around you won't always understand your journey. They don't need to. It's not for them. That's true. So when people look at me really crazy when I talk about why I budget and why I'm so like adamant about looking closely, I don't take offense when people are like, you're doing too much or that's crazy because it's not a system for them. It's for me and my family. All right. So we start out with a undated, okay, an undated monthly view. The thing I like about this budget by Paycheck Workbook, just like how I like the Leverage Planner, is that these are undated tools. That means that if for whatever reason... It may not make sense, but for whatever reason, if I wanted to do January in here and then I wanted to jump in one of the box set workbooks for February, I could because I'm not necessarily wasting February. I could use it for another year or I could replace it. I mean, there's stickers for everything really, so you could easily just make this be a completely different month if you want it. But just saying, there are so many different advantages to an undated system because it takes the pressure off of you, one, and you can start in a step whenever you want. Okay, so um, over here in the right-hand side, we have goals this month. So that's great. It's always important to have some type of financial goals. All right, you guys. And here it is. Here it is. Okay, so this is the layout and the meat and potatoes of the Budget by Paycheck workbook. And I'm actually going to grab my leverage planner real quick. I acted like I had to, to walk away so far. I have it right here. What I'm going to show you, I'm going to go through this and then we're going to compare the layout of this to the layout of what you guys see in my leverage plan. I'm going to try and hurry up because I don't want this to be a super long video. All right. So the budget by paycheck workbook is exactly that. There is at least, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five paycheck bill trackers for each month. Then at the end, there's some other things and we're gonna look at those in a second. So when you guys see me plan on my leverage planner for the month or when I budget in there, 
I am budgeting for the entire month. So I am lumping all of my salary checks together at once and then breaking it down. Is it helpful? Yes. Is it as detailed as this? No, because this is going to give an even better breakdown by paycheck, exactly what it says. So let's get into this. So we have a spot up here for income. You can um, notate budget and actual, very similar to what I do in the Live Rich Planner. And then you have a spot for bills. Bills that will be paid from this paycheck, not the entire month of bills, okay? Sinking funds section, sinking funds that you're going to pay towards with that paycheck. So this is a perfect opportunity. If you have a lot of sinking funds like I did and I was overwhelmed and then I got rid of them, you can split them into different paychecks. And then you're probably more accountable because now you're not waiting to the end to put this larger lump sum of money towards your sinking funds, but you're breaking it down by paycheck. Okay. Then you have envelopes. So if you're doing cash envelopes, any extra debt, any other space in your budget that you want to throw your extra money at and extra savings, then you do total income. Okay. So I want to kind of, I can't zoom in because you guys know I do this on my iPhone. So I want you guys to see, it says, let me straighten this out. It says total income is one plus two plus three plus four plus five, or excuse me, it's total, total income minus one plus two plus three plus four plus five. Where are those numbers at? Here. Bill total is the first value. Cash envelope total is the second value. Sinking funds is the third Extra debt is the fourth, extra savings is the fifth. So to track basically how much you're gonna have left over after a check, you're going to take this number that you've allocated or that you've notated for your income down here, and then you're gonna subtract it by all of these different boxes to get your leftover amount. You're gonna notate your paycheck date as well. So we're gonna go and we're gonna flip real quick because I wanna show you the other side of this the cash envelope breakdown. So again, this page is gonna be related to here. So, okay, you are going to, basically this is just a better way for you. It's, you're gonna copy the information from here to here and then you're going to pull out your cash denominations. This is going to help you go, when you go to the bank to get your cash out, okay? Um, still, you want to make sure that you have the coinciding dates for here for the paycheck dates. And then that's pretty much it. That is that is everything that you have to do to put in the work to budget by paycheck. All right. So then you have a space for money thoughts down here. And then you have a priority goal that you need to set that you can set. How is this different than this? You guys know it. You guys know already. Okay. I'm going to lay this right over the top. All right. So let's look. I'm sorry that everything is so shaky. This is the Live Rich Planner. This is the personal finance section in the Live Rich Planner. What do you see here? A daily spending tracker, priority debt progress, savings goal progress, monthly expenses, monthly income. Everything is related to the month. Everything in here is related to one paycheck. So like, for example, in October, I get paid three times. I would be taking up three pages of this paycheck, budget by paycheck workbook for October, for January or for other months typically. I think I get paid three times twice a year, like three times in one month, twice a year. October happens to be this year. I think I, I think the other month was June or something like that. So pretty much for every other month, I'd be just doing one worksheet. But that's the difference, you guys. So let me just pop this here again. I just really wanna give you guys Kind of an overview because I know that some people have been messaging me, asking me questions like, what's the difference? This is the difference. This is a broader view. This is a more zeroed in detailed view for every paycheck. And dependent on your money goals, depending on basically what's, what system you think is going to work for you, that's how you decide what you want to do. Do you want this larger kind of zoomed out view or do you want the zoomed in view? Or do you want both, right? Because I told you guys before when I ordered, I think I had mentioned that I still plan to use this to have everything together. And it's only gonna drill down to me more and make me even more precise with my numbers. But the purpose of me purchasing the Budget by Paycheck Workbook is because I wanted to see how much of a difference it was going to impact my spending and my saving, really. Because 
I already can see lots of differences now because <laughs> I'll tell you this, when you go and spend money and then you know that you're going to go back home and write in a book that you what you spent and then also think about where you spent it, it makes you double think like, do I really need it? It's not about, um, how do you call that? Depriving yourself. Um, it's, it's more so just about thinking consciously about the choices that you're making with your money. That's how I think of it. So anyways, I wanted to just show you guys the difference in that. All right. So now we're going to go to the end. I love how great the printing is on here too. You have an expense tracker. So although you guys saw the daily, excuse me, you guys saw this daily spending calendar and it's a great way to view it. And I can even show you guys what the one for October currently looks like. I haven't filled in today because I did spend some money today. Um, this is what that looks like. Well, guess what? You have that same option in here. It's just not in a calendar. So think about this. The way that the budget mom does it is she um, puts all her expenses in here. Every time she makes it, every time she makes a withdrawal from anywhere, she writes it down and then she highlights it because she has it, she has everything color coded. So it's the same, it's the same idea, just kind of different systems, different ways you're going to view it. You can also put your account number if you want, your starting balance, and then you'll see your ending balance because there's a column for that. So you have one, two, three, four, oh, five, six, oh God, six pages for your expenses in the month of January. Wow. All right. So, um, that's kind of a lot. I, I don't know. I don't think that I make that many purchases or, I mean, I guess if you're putting all your expenses, like even if you're putting your bills in here, I guess that kind of makes sense to kind of really, really track it. But six pages, that's a lot. All right. And then we have a January debt payment plan. Payment plan. So you have one for every month. Um, and so it just has a total debt, total debts section, extra debt payments if you're going to make those, monthly debt progress, overall debt progress, total debt payments this month. So just a very good summary page for any debts that you're working on. And then your monthly network tracker. So here you list your assets, here you list your liabilities, date of review, and then you're going to also put in last month's net worth so you can compare your total net worth of this year, net worth of this year. So you'll do last month versus th this month, change in amount, change in percentage. So she even gives little formulas in here, which I think is really great. Um, a really great guide to kind of help you really get these numbers down to exactly where you need them to go. All right. Now we have some where did my money go trackers. And we have a monthly budget category breakdown. So we have the budget categories. You can put in starting balance, incoming income, total monthly income, and then your budget categories, monthly budget, monthly spent, difference, percent of income. So she has a really great walkthrough of this too, because I know I'm kind of going through this quickly and you guys aren't really seeing any numbers being put in here. So you might be like, well, how would you use that? And again, you can always reference those pages in the very front, remember, to understand what, how to really use these to your advantage. And then again, this is going to be your monthly debt and savings breakdown. So you're going to just another way of summarizing, just really like nailing it into your head, you guys. All right. And then the last two sheets. Yes, the last two sheets here are the monthly spending comparison. So you'll be able to put things in from December compared to January and then so the same the same moving forward. And then look at this. The cash teller strips. So you have an opportunity here to cut these out. It says cut out, fill out, hand out. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you have six in here in case you make six total trips to the teller, which is really cool. And if you need more of these or you want more of these, like I told you, she sells these um, as an actual really huge stack of sticky notes in her shop, in her store, on her website. <laughs> So I thought those were really cool. So that was a lot of stuff, right? Packed into one month. But what do you guys think of that? Like, what is your first 
I'm sorry. I just put something past the camera. What is your first impression? My first impression is that she is really a make, essentially telling you it takes time. You need to be very detailed. You need to compare numbers. You need to look at things very closely. You need to watch things. And the number one thing is you need to stay true to yourself. You cannot lie. With all of these different pages you have here, you got to line a lot of things up. You got to make sure things are accurate. You got to make things that you're, make sure you're accounting for things. There are some times where I go to Target and I'm like, man, I don't want to write that in my, I don't want to write that in my daily spending today. I didn't really need to go get it, but I got to write it. I have to write it because it's not about not showing you guys. It's about me. I'm working on this. I have other goals. So to me, the immense detail and amount of different worksheets that you have to work through on a month, that tells you this takes work, it takes time, it takes commitment. You need to really look thoroughly at different things and really identify where did my money go, right? So as I promised, we're going to go through the rest of the month to kind of just see what the what these covers look like says, without facing the reality of your spending, you will always be left with confusion and regret. Didn't, oh my God, I didn't even know that was back there, but that's literally what I just said. Without facing the reality of your spending, you will always be left with confusion and regret, right? So if you're always kind of like trying to say, oh, well, I'm gonna just say I didn't have that or I'm gonna do that. You ain't gonna be able to ever zero out your budget because you're not being true, right? Tomorrow you wish excuse me, tomorrow you will wish you had started today, okay? This is what I say to everybody, uh, something like this, when I tell people, oh, did you wanna look into budgeting? Did you wanna look how I do things? Not to say that they have to do it the way that I'm doing it, but are you interested? And if they say, oh, well, not this week or next month, and I'm just like, okay. I just say, okay. Prove yourself that nothing is impossible. That's true. Finding happiness with what you have today will save you from always wanting more in the future. That's something really big for millennials. Stop leaving the big dreams to millionaires. Yes. The most important thing is that you are proud of the change you have brought into your life. That's for July. For August, the worst thing we can do is to allow someone else's progress to make us feel bad about our own. On this journey, you realize it's not about having lots of money. If you don't know how to manage it, you'll always feel poor, no matter how much money you have. Struggle and the ability to overcome is empowering. Be proud of what you have accomplished. The journey to pay off your debt is to change the way you look at money and how you manage it. Once you stop comparing yourself to others, that's when you find true contentment. I feel you, Kamiko. Okay, and that is the end. That is the end of it. So there's no extra note pages at the end of this booklet. You do have a double-sided pocket. And oh, hello, I have some stickers back there. So that's really cute. And I these are like the same stickers that I got. Um, oh, there's another little board in the back. These are the same stickers I got with my Leverage Planner. So, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Of course, you guys know, I'm gonna do some budgeting videos in here. I'm no expert, okay? So all of the pins are my own. I'm no financial expert at all. I never will be, okay? So, the next thing I wanted to do, real quick before I close out the video, I want to do a pen test on the in the paper in here. So I am going to do it right up here. All right, so we're gonna get my pens out. They're cute. They say the budget mom on them. The budget mom have that little saber on it. All right, I'm just gonna write over here. We'll, ooh. Oh, y'all, stop it. Okay, the budget mom pen is smooth. All right, I like that. That's nice. 
It's not very like heavy to touch. Like I'm used to these type of pens. It has a little girth to it. This one is kind of light, but over time you can get used to it. But I like that. Let's see the smear. It does smear a little, so you gotta give it some time to dry. It is some sort of gel pen. So it did smear, so you guys gotta let it dry. This paper is very smooth though. I'm gonna leave this one out, so I know that this is the one I tried. Um, But yeah, so that is my, oh my God, my budget, my paycheck workbook bundle. Um, I spent a lot of time really figuring out exactly what I wanted to order from the release, and I'm really satisfied with everything. So I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.